What's up guys? Welcome to Supercars of London and the reason why my thumb is pointing up is because it can't move anywhere else. Yesterday at football I uh, massively damaged it. I'm not sure whether it's dislocated, well it's not dislocated because it's still in its socket or fractured or whatever it is but every time I start my car I have to lean over and start it that way because I've got no uh, strength whatsoever in this thumb. <sighs> which is really annoying, really annoying. I've been um, not on YouTube for a couple of days and that's uh, because I've been planning the last five to six episodes of Living With A Supercar, which I'm really excited about. The video that's gonna be going live on Saturday is talking about whether I can use this car on an everyday basis. So I'm gonna be talking about some of the normal everyday points that you wouldn't have to think about if you were driving the Ford Fiesta that has just driven past me or the Vauxhall Corsa in front or the, even the Mini Cooper in front. Today is Thursday, so it's Throwback Thursday. Last week, I went Prius hunting to try and recreate the video of uh, the SLS AMG with Premier Velocity um, revving it against the Prius that was driving past. This week, unfortunately, I can't recreate what this video is going to show. It involves a Lamborghini Aventador with a very, very loud Capristo test pipe exhaust system driving around the back streets of London and getting held up by a cyclist. A lot of you have already seen this video. I think this video has been viewed around 1.4 million times. So um, it's been around a fair few times. I keep seeing it pop up on Instagram. I keep seeing it pop up on the old viral video website. So here's the footage of what um, happened back in um, July of summer 2013. As we were looking back on the video from last summer, I managed to get myself down here where I normally vlog at the haunted old people's homes of Hertfordshire. And before you ask, I am going to be spending a night here as part of the Living With A Supercar episode, finding out how good that car is um, as a hotel room for the night. But let's get back to the footage of this Lamborghini getting sabotaged by the cyclist in the back streets of London. The Lamborghini was in a low gear and he was about to accelerate, probably giving me a very good video, accelerating towards me with his Capristo test pipe exhaust system, uh, making a huge racket from the V12. The cyclist, however, pulled out right in front, um, forcing the Lamborghini to slam on the brakes and then the cyclist decided to cycle incredibly slowly right in the middle lane, blocking the Lamborghini. If it was in any other car, a uh, VW Golf, even an Audi R8 or whatever the car was, I'm sure the cyclist wouldn't have got in the middle of the road to block the Lamborghini from accelerating. I'm pretty sure this guy was a resident as all day he was cycling around giving the car spotters grief, shouting rude words at us, but also shouting at the supercar owners trying to deter them away from the streets of Knightsbridge, which honestly isn't going to happen. So I thought that this guy was uh, fighting a lost cause. I felt sorry for the Lamborghini. Obviously he was accelerating. I'm not sure whether he he would have ended up doing over the speed limit if he continued to accelerate, but the cyclist definitely got in his way. The Lamborghini didn't go over the speed limit in this video, so the Lamborghini technically was doing nothing wrong, whereas the cyclist was cycling in the middle of the road. There's huge arguments on my YouTube channel and across the internet. I actually Googled my name, sad, I know, um, a couple of months ago and found a news article um, from someone, whether it was from the Greenpeace or it was someone to do with um, cyclists, um, pro cyclists, is that the right word? They were very green anyway and they were completely slagging me off uh, for writing in the description that the cyclist was in the wrong and the Lamborghini was in the right. Of course I think the Lamborghini was in the right because I'm the car spotter and not a cyclist that's complaining about cars driving fast on the road. Not that this Lamborghini was driving fast. So I didn't think they had a leg to stand on. It actually quite upset me when I read it, but then I realized uh, this guy's never met me, doesn't know who I am. 
and um, has a different passion to me. And we're all different in this world. So um, that article completely pff, went straight over my head. But looking back, it, the video has had about 1.4 million views. This Lamborghini is quite well known in London. It isn't the one that crashed in Shmi 150's video. A lot of people have been asking me whether it is. Had the same exhaust system, the same paint job, um, but different number plates and obviously different owners as well. The Lamborghini that crashed was a left-hand drive and this one is a UK right-hand drive car. But this video, we were filming him all day and then when he came around the uh, back streets of London, it's normally a very good place to get some great footage of cars accelerating and making a lot of noise. I've actually done it similar in my car as well for a few of the car spotters whilst I've been driving around in central London. As he accelerated, I knew that this was going to be a good video without even seeing the cyclist. And as soon as that cyclist pulled out, I knew that there was going to be a problem. I didn't know whether the Lamborghini owner was going to get out and have a go at the cyclist or the cyclist was going to stop, get off his bike and try and start a fight with the Lamborghini. It was literally that tense. And when the Lamborghini let off a rev up to the red line, um, that was when I thought that there was definitely going to have a fight break out and I was going to have to film it all for YouTube and probably cut in and stop them from arguing and arguing. Oh, it was a moment that I wasn't sure what was going to happen. Luckily, I caught it all on camera and um, the owner of the Lamborghini saw it in light heart, the video, obviously not the cyclist pulling out in front of him. Um, but overall, that video um, was definitely more, one of the more memorable ones from 2013. It all happened in the same week that Tron got uh, impounded by the police as well. So it was a very, very eventful week for the supercars versus police versus residents in Knightsbridge, which has been ongoing now for five or six years. I'm not going to say too much about the argument because I'm a car spotter. I've got biased opinions about the Arabic supercars that are coming over here and driving their supercars about. I want to see that. I want to see them come over here and enjoy our culture, enjoy um, the restaurants, the shops, everything that they do here. And I'm sure that they enjoy it themselves and they get a lot of grief from residents and the police um, for making too much noise when technically it's actually people with UK plates that are making more noise than the Arab supercars, especially this year, which I proved on a couple of videos that I made of Arab supercars driving in silence. However you look at this video, there are two sides to the story. Are you on the Lamborghini team or are you on the cyclist team? Comment below because it'll be interesting to hear what you have to say about this video. I hope you've enjoyed this throwback Thursday video talking about the Lamborghini Aventador that got sabotaged by a cyclist as it was driving around in the streets of London. It's another throwback Thursday. Next week, I'm looking forward to doing another throwback Thursday. I might start talking about the Team Iron Man rap just before Gumball 3000 and throwback to Gumball 3000 which technically was only three or four months ago, so it's not that far to throw back. This Saturday, I'm doing Living With A Supercar. I've had a really exciting week um, in the office on emails, on social media, talking with various people. I'm hoping that there are gonna be some really exciting videos going to be going live on Supercars of London very soon. It's not just going to be London based. I may even be going abroad into Europe and even further, which I'm really, really excited about. I can't say too much at the moment, which is killing me. I, trust me, it's killing me. Um, but follow me on Twitter and Instagram as I'll be able to give you instant updates as things progress. So thanks for watching. Take care, subscribe, like, share, comment. We're on 99,000 subscribers now. I don't know what is gonna be my last video before we hit 100,000, um, but I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. And I'm building up for a very, very special 100,000 subscriber special. So thanks for the support, guys. Really, really appreciate everything that you're doing. Take care and I'll see you soon. One more thing. One more thing. <laughs> My door handles come off, which um, needs to get fixed because it looks rubbish. There you go, guys. Cheers.